New video released by Israel's army shows the damage to one of its air bases after Iran's attack. Now, the barrage of drones and missiles left a large hole in the ground at the Nevatim Air Base in southern Israel. There was also damage to a road in the area of Hermon. Israel says the vast majority of Iran's projectiles were intercepted. Uh, we go to Imran Khan, our correspondent in Occupied East Jerusalem. Good morning, Imran. Um, of course, those details now emerging and the pictures too about what uh, was hit in Israel and the damage caused. That's absolutely right. What we're hearing was that at least nine of those Iranian ballistic missiles uh, breached Israel's air defence. Five hit the Nevatim air base, uh, damaging a C-130 transport aircraft, an unused runway and empty storage facilities. Uh, and then an additional four ballistic missiles hit the Negev air base, but there were no reports of significant damage there. Now, these ballistic missiles should have been intercepted by the Arrow 3 system. The Arrow 3 system is a very new system for the Israelis. It was the first time it was deployed in this case. It's designed uh, to bring down ballistic missiles. Now, the fact that five of the, uh, nine of those missiles actually got through is going to be a cause of concern for the Israelis. In fact, what we're hearing right now is there is almost a post-mortem going on about the effectiveness of that Arrow 3 defence system, whether it can be recalibrated and what needs to be learned from those lessons. So it is very concerning to the Israelis privately that those missiles came through. But once again, the Israelis publicly are talking about the fact that their defence systems, all of them, whether they include David Sling, uh, the Iron Dome defence system or the Arrow 3, were all successful. Imran, Israel is certainly beating the war drum right now, but its allies have, in the last, what, 36 hours, drawn a line under this incident. Yet it does seem that the Israeli cabinet is split on the decision. They're not all on the same page. That's absolutely right. You've got two key divisions going on here. The first one comes from uh, the far right of the government coalition, people like Itamar Begevir or Bezidel Smotrich, who have said, we need to hit Tehran in the heart of Tehran. They want to see a further uh, escalating retaliatory strike against uh, Tehran. But then you have people like Benny Gantz and um, the defence minister, Yoav Gallant, who are looking to this as an opportunity to build a coalition against Iran. That's not a new idea here in uh, Israel, in Israeli politics. Uh, remember, during the beginning of the war on Gaza, the post-October 7th events, the Israelis actually did try and call for an international coalition against Hamas. That actually went away fairly quickly. But the fact that uh, they want this uh, international coalition, they see an international coalition against Iran as an opportunity they can build upon in the light of the attack is crucial. Because if you are going to respond to Iran, you need international cover and a coalition gives you that cover. Right now, Israel doesn't have the kind of support it needs internationally to be able to mount a key retaliatory strike, which is what the far right of the party want. For that update, thanks very much. Imran Khan, they occupied East Jerusalem. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.